Hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Every so often I, I start that sentence and then I'm like, what the heck is the name of this game? And like, invisible ink almost comes out of my mouth, right? Even though that's clearly not what we're playing. What are our soldiers doing? Three injuries still. That's okay. Uh, officer training school. Is there any of this that I can pick up? Oh, this is why. It seems like everybody is in the infirmary for so long. It's because I don't have this anymore. I thought it was maybe like a, a difficulty setting thing. And maybe it is. Maybe both of those things are happening. But uh, cutting cutting rest time in half is probably something I picked up real early in the last game. Uh, now I feel like I have better stuff to spend my money on. I don't mind keeping my soldiers rotating a bit. Research. Yeah, we're working on it. Okay. Let's just keep moving, I suppose. They want a satellite in the U.S. Well, here's the thing. I can't really put one there, I don't think. Like, I can't move satellites. If I did get a satellite, I'd probably put it in Egypt anyway. I'd love to give you guys one. Like, one of the reasons I'm doing all this excavation is so I can add a satellite uplink. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do this stuff in time. We'll see, I guess. Well, so a satellite takes how long to build? It's like pretty long, right? Is it 20 days? Commander, our it is current satellite days. uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. So if I build this satellite, it'll be ready in 20 days. Which will be just enough time to give it to North America. What are they willing to give me back for this? Two hundred bucks. I would love it. I would love that. I think, because building a satellite uplink facility just takes fourteen days, right? So if I start the satellite now, I can start the launch stuff for it later. Uh, assuming I can still afford it. So it's ninety-one. Yeah, we can. Do question is, do I build two? Because when that access lift finishes, I can put satellite link right next to it. And then I'll be able to launch two satellites, right? Commander, it seems worthwhile. Our satellite uplink facilities are at full Except capacity. I don't remember how much it costs build to build a satellite as soon as uplink. To allow for new satellite deployments. Right. And how are we for power? Will I be able to build it even? We are totally dead on power. So... We would have to build power... Uh, here. And then excavate, and then build a satellite uplink down here. We'd be cutting it pretty close, but I think we could do it. But I don't think we could build, launch two satellites. We could maybe launch the one. Commander, I guess I'll give it a try. Satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We so now we want to build power over here. Here we're excavating. And we're gonna need a little bit of money somewhere else just to. Five. As I recall, it's 14 days to build uplink. So 5 and 14 is just 19. It'll be ready in time for the satellite, right?
Oh, and the workshop should come. Should come. Additional workshop online. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Hmm. We're always glad to have more help down here. Yeah, so I'm sort of glad I only built one satellite that way, because this next one's now like 25 bucks cheaper. Uh, and I don't need it urgently. In fact, the satellite is still at 20 days. <laughs> uh, but but uh, we're gonna need all the money we can save for like the uplink or something. Breaking news at this hour. Reports is the terrorist attack? Oh good, we're gonna get to help out Australia. 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 Yeah, I'm real bad at that. Right, we have a heavy... Oh, Jordan happens to be a sniper, so that's great, because we gave him this, this scope anyway. Who has the med kit? A heavy? I'll give it to du Dubois. Will I? Maybe it makes more sense for the... Yeah, I think it actually does make sense to give it to a Heavy than to a Roki. Because the Heavy is going to tend to hang back a bit, I think. Oh, whoops. Uh... I guess, yeah. Uh, which means they'll be... in order. They can, like, scoop forward and heal someone, whereas a Roki... It's kind of going to have to be close to the combat, and they'll want a grenade. And of course, heavies already have access to rockets, so they don't need grenades so badly, and all this great stuff. Uh, does Flash really need a nanofiber vest more than she needs, say, a grenade? Unclear. But I don't know, this loadout looks alright. I would really love to be able to help out Egypt, though. Touching down. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance, so that's our next drop site. A number of requests? We've gotten reports of alien activity taking place in a densely populated... So this should be where we learn about chrysalids, right? To secure the area or maybe not until I capture an ethereal, I don't know. Not, I keep calling them ethereals, they're outsiders. It seems like as soon as I captured one outsider, like, they just never mattered. Central, ever. this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Oh wow, we've got we've got like the wall right next to us, so and here as well. So we're right in the corner of the uh, active zone. Interesting. Heading there now. Look sharp. Found someone up. already. Uh, okay, so that's some okay shots, but let's see. Flash should be able to at least activate the hollow targeting, right? On my way. Maybe get a decent shot as well. Suppression would work, but I don't think. We should be able to get it to kill this time. Uh, oh, flush. Hm. I don't know that that's actually a good idea. Right, he would just he would go somewhere that I don't want very much, probably. Where he is now is fine. He's pretty exposed. I had rapid fire though. On my way. I feel so much better getting that kill in. I do have too many people in like very close quarters, though. Uh, it makes me worry about a grenade, because we know those things do have grenades. Jordan, maybe come down here. Running. Ten four. I like her voice. 
voice. I don't know if I've had that voice on my squad. Before. They're backing up. Advance. Nice. He's running for it. We got him. There could be people here who would shoot at me, right? Not what I want to happen. So I guess we, we can just come here on the way, though, Moving. and see what's happening. Maybe even reload. Yeah. Heavies have to reload a lot. Like, they, can only, they only carry three ammo. So if you're doing much shooting, I feel like if I come here, I would certainly discover some bad guys, and they could easily get a flank. So that tells me I should be here instead. But I can't get a flank out. easily. Alright, nothing. Well, now I wish you could trade places and have Mike take that spot, because it seems pretty good. But... I think I would settle for, like, this spot, or possibly something around here. Oh, this is low cover too? Get it, I'll take this spot. It looks like high cover. So now we can come down here and peek around the corner. Moving. that guy has, was. He is probably starting to murder civilians or something. Moving out. Found some... What happened? I guess I must know where he is now, right? Is that, like, he lit up. But I can't see him anymore. And I don't... Aha! He's... on the roof? Up here? Oh no, I see. These are new guys that we haven't spotted yet. Interesting. I would really love for them not to spot me, and then I pass them. Uh, when I pass the turn, because I could get a rocket up there, which would just... I would be tickled to think about that rocket. I feel, Commander. Uh, which means I don't want to move forward too much. But, like, here is fine. Or actually, I can... Uh, I can get to here. That's a little... I don't want to be that far forward. I think I'll settle for here. Moving to position. that's a better spot than where we are now. It's, it's about the same. I'll just stay here. It's better cover. Yeah, these guys are not going anywhere. They don't know about me yet. Nope, they're coming. That's 
gets two kills of civilians. I don't think we're alone out here. Whoa, there's a ladder. We can actually get up here. Nice. Civilian, you are standing in the place that I want to be. Heading to that location. This negates any hope we had of establishing a clear pattern of behavior among the alien species. Woo! This specimen is nothing like the others. It seems like oh, got one goodness, everything. that's fast. Oh my god, Nat, run for your life! I mean, you can do quite a bit of damage to this thing, but there's that too. Holy smokes. Do we have any assault who can get up there? Yes. One assault can get up there and provide some help. I think that's what we're gonna do. Put them down. Any better cover? No. Ten four. Anything useful, maybe? Jeez, doesn't look like it. I mean, I can't get a rocket anywhere near that relevant area, can I? I can't even get it over the of this thing. Ah! can't actually do that without hitting it. Actually, this shot might just work. It's blue. I'm gonna give it a try. Nice. What a sharpshooter, that. That was excellent. Oh my god, I can't believe we got out of that without a scratch. Uh, I mean, we... He didn't even kill any civilians with that rocket, incredibly enough. On the move. Oh, there's a bunch more aliens, huh? I didn't realize that they were that. That they were there. I think we need to... Well... How far can I get I I guess we just shoot at that thing. We could take this shot. It's a pretty decent shot. It might even kill him. Problem is, we're gonna have... To... There's plenty of people who can deal with that. There's only... only... There's only Dubois who can deal with this. If that thing comes around the corner, I think I can overwatch it. Right, if it, from here, if it tries to approach Dubois, I think I can get a sniper rifle overwatch. Super slow. I miss. Yeah, it's killing civilians. Oh, and it makes zombies, right? 
That's a weird mechanic that I sort of expected them to explore further, but it was just like, as oh, when chrysalids attack people, it, it makes zombies. The bite seems to have turned him and then, like, that mattered for one or two missions, and then never zombie. again. Wow. Got one shot in there, huh? Pretty sure that was, in fact, like, that soldier had not yet been harmed all game or all mission before that point. Uh, I kind of want to get into a better position. Get further away I'm from this zombie move. while attacking it. Go, get out of here. What is that? Oh, that's a floater. That's another floater. Is that a grenade? I do. But I can't really get anything meaningful with it. And that can come over here and get a pretty sweet shot on that guy. But I think that leaves me in range of the zombie, right? This, on the other hand, should not. not as good cover, but I'll take what I can get. See you in hell. Dead in the water here. No shot on that chrysalid, I guess. Because the person who could see it is now dead. Makes sense. Headed there now. These floaters are kind of a problem to track down. Always disappear. Do I really want to move that far forward? Maybe not. Oh, Chrysalid on the loose. This is probably well here is probably better on the loose. That's affirmative. Come around here, we should additionally get. No, we can't overwatch because we're. This is a dash. So from here, pretty much the best we can do is shoot at one of these two things. I think the zombie is so slow that this is not necessarily that pressing. I should focus on the floater. But I'm not sure if that's right. certainly be killed by the zombie, if I misunderstand their speed. What? I did not know they could do that. I... Okay, I... I, uh... Correctly estimated the zombie's speed, I suppose. But it's a lot closer than I thought it was. Oh, who do I have a shot at? Oh, a zo the zombie in the building? Well, in that case, let me get out my sniper rifle. It's probably more important to just start doing large amounts of damage to any target. Oh, I should have taken a headshot there. I forgot I even had that option. That was a mistake. Do we run and gun here? This is not a great opportunity, I don't think, because... Uh, do we have a shotgun equipped? Oh, this is, this is a heavy, so I can't run and gun anyway. Uh, this is an assault, and I could run and gun. But what am I going to do about Nat's position? <laughs> I think we need to run for our 
friggin' lives. Like, way back here. Move, move, move. That should get us out of range of both of those things. And buy time for more shots to be taken or more support to arrive or something. Should've done that first, by the way. Um, do I take an overwatch here? Do I reload? I think I reload. If I overwatch, I might run out of ammo while I'm in the middle of trying to kill stuff. It's pretty bad. I'm on it, Commander. I can trust them to just sort of chase me down. And there's not much cover for them to take, so we'll have some easy shots. Oh my god. More civilians. If only they were highlighted, in, uh, say, with a blue circle or something. But the technology just isn't there. <laughs> it's not an ideal position for a sniper. Tough to get anyone up on the roof, sadly. So I kind of need to kill stuff in a bit of a hurry. Gosh, out of ammo. How does this zombie still have full health? That's the worst. I'm fairly sure the zombie can't reach me over here. I could flush, I suppose. I don't really think that's great. Where does it go? Run away? If I flush, it could just walk towards me and, and kill me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of damage. We could maybe get a kill pistol shot even. And I think here should be... Is it safe? It's a kind of safe-ish. Actually here is, act is probably better. It's not in cover, but we're not fighting anything that cares about cover right at the moment. Oh wait, are we out of ammo? Here we are. I thought briefly that I was incorrect and that we were not out of ammo. Oh, I don't even have a rocket. What am I thinking? Or a pistol. I was thinking, oh, I'll just use my pistol. Um, but I think we need to continue retreating here. Let us all take care of that zombie. Well, if I decided this was a safe spot to be, I should, I should, I'll just reload. We're green to go. Jordan could come up here and maybe land a pistol shot, but, well, certainly land one, but I don't think it could possibly do four damage, could it? So it would just be extremely dangerous. Headed there now. I'm ready. <laughs> Tell me I'm right, but. Wait. It just died? Oh my god! It turned into another chrysalid. That's new. And on this turn it gets to act? Oh my god, we're dead. Can we... Can we... 
how many soldiers do we have left? Two. How do we get them to the exit? For things... Eat them. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna complete this mission, guys. Moving out. That is not a behavior I was anticipating. Is that really from oh, you can only go that far dashing? Why can't you just hop off the roof there? That thing should be able to. Oh. I think they're gonna catch me. Solid copy, Commander. They're running away. This mission was like this. I thought it was going okay. We lost someone to that floater, but then last turn it just suddenly was awful. They got into melee range with two of us. How far can we get? Pretty far. So next turn, we should be be able to eat back both of these soldiers. I'm on the move. Moving to Overwatch. Is it, the, is it the worst mission I've had in my XCOM career? Maybe not. There was that time that I lost three out of six soldiers. This is three out of five, which is a higher percent, but they were much more advanced soldiers. These guys, I don't know. I can kind of this out. Like we're, we're losing experience. And, uh, no. Okay, yeah, he, he had to dash, though. He couldn't quite catch us. We're losing experience, but we're not losing equipment. And uh, experience you can buy by hiring more soldiers. And just sending them on missions. The main thing that you're advancing is technology and equipment. On my way. Here they come. Oh good, more enemies. Yeah, I am I am not concerned about that at all. Let's see if we can get. Uh, oh, he was dashing. I was gonna say, let's see if we can get some experience for a kill or something, but I dashed foolishly. All soldiers, soldiers in the zone, ready to abort. Central, yeah. Big skies coming home. Mission aborted. Yep. Civilian saved zero. I got one. Apparently, if you abort, and the aliens are still there, and so the ones you rescue just get killed anyway. Uh, later on in their homes or something. Australia is probably going to leave uh, the council. I would if I were that. XCOM did not put out an inspiring performance. Yeah. Oh, that's a new look on the map. What was that all about? I assume that's just like the uh, this is terrible. Remember, we will be watching. I'm sure the troops will be eager to get out there and even up the body count. Yeah, okay. Uh, I that would be... Oh my god, the whole Eastern Hemisphere is like in, in, in not good shape. Our worst suspicions may have been true after all. They're not just here for abductions. They have something else in mind. Yuck. Okay, well, we'll see if we can recover from this disastrous 
first encounter with chrysalids in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.